today I want to share with you a miracle I experienced through the rosary. The best gift you can give anybody is to tell them about the power of the rosary, the power of prayer, that when you pray, you can get anything. We don't need to have connection to that friend. We don't need to be connected to that powerful person. All we need is God. And all we need is our prayers, your own heart. So you can freely be kind to people without any manipulation. You can truly make friends and love them without thinking they will do this for me because you have God and you have your prayers and what you need will happen. So I have said this prayer so many times and I have so many miracles I have seen through the rosary that I really wanted to share with you. So one of them I remember when I was a kid and I was home and I was going to go to high school. So there were problems. My tribe Tutsi that time was not really liked at all. And we knew it was something like a policy or if we have 50 places in, in high school scholarship, five Tutsis would only get the scholarship, no matter what, if you, you did wear an exam or not. It was a time that was not good for us at all as a tribe. Thankfully, now in Rwanda, that doesn't exist. You don't write your tribe anywhere. You don't say who you are. You are not obliged to say it. So people can see your performance without having to see what tribe you are. I passed the exam. I remember I was the second in the school or the good school with, with schools that had scholarships. The private schools were sponsored by parents and parents were poor. So I passed the exam. I still did not get the scholarship. I still remember the sadness of my father he went to sleep earlier that day. There was a chance, two years later, I could go again and do an exam, and then they would fit you in the places, in those good high school, in the places where the kids who got scholarship, but you know, who didn't do good in school, who have been sent away, because if you don't have a certain marks, they just will send you away from school. So those places were there, and they would pick from these private schools, people who would pass again the exam. So I did the exam, and this time I passed the exam. And I will never forget when my brother came to us. Oh, it was a big deal. They will put the result of those who, who got the scholarship on the window of the mayor so everyone can go to see them. So everyone is looking for their name. My brother came and he told us that he saw that my name was there. And my father, I never saw him so happy. He was so happy and he said, wait, I need everybody to come in the living room. He called them some neighbors who were near, people who were visiting us, and he said, I need to tell you this, because I promised, I'm like, Dad, what is going on? He said, I be, buy some beers, buy some soda, because we, we need to celebrate. I still don't understand what is going on. Wow, he loves me. I know I passed the exam, but this much, you know, like he really wants to do a party, but he seemed like he had something to tell all of us. So we are drinking, we are eating, he's just happy, really excited. Well, I can understand. He loved me. I was his only daughter. We used to pray together, you know, do it, stations of the cross in the living room, and me and him alone. And we prayed together as a whole family. But me and him, we did so many things as prayers together. And he loved it, and I loved him. He was, in my heart, my best friend. Not that I would tell him everything, you know, as a young kid. I'm sure I did too, you know, what I had in my heart. You know, I had friends. With, you talk about little things, but I just loved my father and I was very protective over him. I remember one time I used to tell my mom, mom, dad is coming home and he's late, you know, he, he came late and I can see my mom was not happy. And I would beg her, mom, would you be nice? My mom used to tell me, yeah, one time you will get married and you will know. <laughs> and you know, stop it, don't tell me that. I was always protective, mom, smile when dad comes so that he's happy. You know, and my dad was always come home and tell us the stories, where he was, people he was with, the conversation they had. We couldn't wait for him just to tell us the stories of what we you know, how his day was. Anyway, this day, he was so happy. And he told us the story. And he said, for two years, he had been saying the rosary every single day, all 15 mysteries, joyful, sorrowful, and glorious, asking Our Lady to give a scholarship to his daughter, me. For two years, every single day, he said the rosary alone, asking Our Lady to give me a scholarship. And he knew he was asking Our Lady. So he told us, he told Our Lady, since you can do all things, your son is God, I'm going to ask you, if you give it to her, my father prayed 
that they put me in a school of his choice. It was a Catholic school. It was a school that was run by a nun he loved and trusted. So he wanted me to be there. In Rwanda, we had maybe about 200 schools in the country. And when you pass exam, they put you in whatever school that was pleasing to them or there was a space. So randomly, they would place you anywhere. But this time, he knew who to go to and he knew what to do to say the rosary and trust our lady that she would do it. So I got a scholarship and guess what? They gave me the school. They put me in the school my dad prayed for. Can you believe that? So now this is what our father told us and told everybody, the neighbors, the, everyone who was home, us as a family. He told us that he promised our lady, if he get the answer to his prayer, he would tell everybody about what she have done for his daughter, that he have prayed the rosary so that he can inspire and encourage other people to pray the rosary. Can you believe that? And he have to, you know, respect his words. And this is something else he did, I loved. He said to our lady, two years before, our lady answered the prayer through again the rosary. If she gets what she, he was asking for, the school, and get a scholarship in that school he wanted, he said, I promise I will offer four masses to thank God for the favor given to him. So every week we will go to mass and then they will say, a parent, uh, a parent is thanking God for a favor given to him, to his daughter. <laughs> and another week will come. A parent, this is a mass offered to, in Thanksgiving, a parent is thanking. Few things I got from that. One was, oh my God, the power of the rosary? You mean the promises Our Lady said, they actually come true if only we can do our part? Are you kidding me? I had all this and I've been worried all my life. I was like 14 years old. I worry about friends. I worry about things, school. When I could have said the rosary and ask Our Lady to give me strength to, pr to study better, to, res to help me resolve problems between me and my friends if I had any misunderstanding. I worried when my parents were sick, when I could have been saying the rosary and ask our lady to take care of them. And that really was a huge lesson. And I wanted to have that and to know that. And another thing I got to find out is that we must thank God, especially if you can offer a mass in Thanksgiving, our Lord will be so happy. And I hope you can do that. This week I'm asking actually for masses for my family on 18, 19, 21, and 23. If you join me in prayer so we can pray for my parents. I believe they're in heaven. They have gone to heaven. Uh, many people maybe you know, but I continue to pray for them. I believe they are with our lady, but I continue to pray for them. Even if they were not there, the prayers will be used for other people. So my dear friends, that is a gift I wanted to share with you. Please pray the rosary. For your own good our lady used to say pray the rosary for peace in your own hearts in your family families and in the world of course but she said if you don't even know what is taking away your peace take time to say the rosary if you feel stressed say the rosary and you will feel good peace will return to you when we are going through all this political unrest and discussions in the family, you know, regarding politics and friends that is not good, when your peace is shaken, find time to say the rosary. Your peace will return. That is a gift I wanted to give you today on my birthday because it had been the greatest. This happened for Tini when I was 14. Now, many years later, I won't tell you my age. And now, I am still doing it every day and every blessing that have come to my life. You know, when I met my husband, when I, um, I got my first job, my second, my third job, when I was writing the, the books and the books to still to this day, when I'm lacking inspiration, I say my rosary and I go to confession because we want to be good with God. We want to pray from the heart, mean everything. When you say our Father, remember when you go through those words, forgive us our trespasses, us. We forgive those who trespass against us. Forgive, but also apologize. Be humble to apologize to God and apologize to one another. And that's what I wanted to share, my dear friends. Please say the rosary. If you want to actually learn how to say the rosary or meditate with me, you can go to my website, Makile 
rosemary.com my first name.com and you can go to prayers you will see there is my rosary the seven souls rosary and you can use my meditation i love it i love it and i wish that you love it too so may god bless you please pray for me and i'll pray for you and love the rosary